All right, here we go. This is the first game of my Dallas Mavericks, my GM series, and we're facing the Charlotte Hornets here. And um, this is Alex Len's debut. I mean, he really proved to me that he can be a solid starting center for any team, and especially us. So I think we got a steal for him as he grabs the opening rebound right there. Up to Berea, over to Chandler Parsons, pulls up for three, and gets that one to fall. Now Chandler Parsons, he was kind of on and off this game. He was mostly cold until he kind of caught a little bit fire towards the end of the game. Now look at that. That is a connection I want to see more of the season. A Darren Williams to Alex Len, alley -oop right here. Just look at that. With authority. So anyways, Chandler Parsons, he has a good three-point shot but it doesn't really seem like it in this game. You'll see him making shots in this game because when you edit, you don't put like misses in. Like, I don't know. Yeah, he, he's probably the most like available player on my team if I were to trade someone in my starting lineup. It would probably be him, but, uh, but I really don't have any plans to. So anyways, I'm going off on, on a tangent here, so. Here's Berea, back to Dirk, pump fake, surprising he didn't jump. Dirk was actually catching fire this game. Berea, down to Alex Len, working on Big Al on the post. He gets that hook shot to go. He's got to work on his offensive game. Um, he's not the most consistent scorer, obviously. He's more of a rebounder and a rim protector for us. But, but right there, Darren Williams is actually protecting the rim. Kind of switching roles there now Justin Anderson he he had a few good shots I didn't realize he was such a good or not that good but he's a decent three-point shooter in this game um so yeah he he made quite a few I think he made like two threes in this game and um an, an interesting uh and look at that nice drive by Mr. Anderson a nice uh storyline could be who could be the starting point guard could it be Devin Harris or Darren Williams now Darren Williams is clearly the better player in my opinion and look at that 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 broken play turned into a perfect play for Dirk that I, I laughed at that play man that was that just worked out so anyways uh the point guard situation Darren Williams I think is the better point guard so I think I'm gonna stick with him but I mean Devin Harris you guys will see he'll go on a, on a run later in this episode so it's gonna be interesting Devin Harris will definitely be getting quite a bit more minutes but I think Darren Williams will stay at point guard starting. And look at Dirk. This is why I love to have big men that can shoot threes. Because he can do that. It, it, he's great. Dirk's great to have. Which also kind of leads me to my next point. What are we going to do when Dirk retires? Uh, look at this. Devin Harris, dude. I, I like the new like catch and shoot thing. It's a lot quicker in my opinion. Anyways, I, I keep getting off topic here. Um, and there's Anderson's three. And uh, so Dirk, what are we gonna do when he retires? So chances are, he's gonna retire after the season, which could leave us with a pretty big hole at the power forward position. So right now, our backup power forward is Charlie Villanueva, who I think is kind of a shorter, shorter scaled down version of Dirk, because he can, he can shoot threes. He, uh, he can, yeah, he can like spread the floor. But he's clearly not as good as Dirk is. So I don't really know what I'm going to do here. I don't know if I'm going to go after a big name in free agency. I don't know if I'm going to try and draft someone. I don't know if I'm just going to take the hit and uh, keep filling a wave or Anthony Bennett starting next season at power forward. But I don't know. I really don't want to look forward. I'm not really looking forward to Dirk retiring. Because we don't have many other guys who can do that. That can just... I can just drop threes whenever he wants. I mean, it's really gonna be—it's really gonna be tragic when he uh, decides to call it quits. And look at Devin Harris getting that free throw line fade away to go. Now down to Dirk, and here's Chandler Parsons. Right here is where he kind of starts getting hot here. Yeah, yeah, he got that three to go over to Dirk. Finds Parsons for the easy mid-range shot right there. Like nobody should be missing that. Unless you just can't shoot at all. So 
Parsons down to Dirk, and he gets up and throws it down, dude. I was not, they, he kind of pulled that out of his ass there. I was not expecting him to throw it down like that. I was actually kind of expecting a layup. <laughs> Look at that good defense by my man Alex Len on Frank the Tank Kaminsky. And here's D. Will right here. He's getting the pick from Alex Len with a beautiful dish and a nice one handed jam to give us a 10 point lead. Now there's Darren Williams with a one-handed tomahawk and that basically secures the game. But of course, you guys know, you guys know Dirk. He always has to add insult to injury. Just pulling up and just draining that three, right? Just kind of just kind of rubbing it in. And here's the end of the game, guys. We pull out this win. Alex Len had a great game. I'm going to leave you guys here. If you guys want to stay for the stats, just just stay here. I'll see you guys next time.